Hi everybody, I'm Philip Van Dusen and today's video is called Brand Yourself or Die. So on this channel, I share insights on strategic branding and graphic design for creative professionals, entrepreneurs, and brand owners. And the video today is called Brand Yourself or Die, Developing a Personal Brand as an Insurance Policy in Your Career. And what I mean by that is that there's a statistic that says by 2025, 45% of the American po working population is going to be independent contractors. So that means we're moving from an era of full-time employment to an era of freelancing. It used to be the, the day that you would get a job with a company and maybe stay with that company for five or 10 years and then move to another company. But more and more companies are divesting themselves of full-time employees because of the cost of benefits here. It gives them more flexibility. But what it does for the employee is it gives us less security. So developing a personal brand is a really important step in maintaining that level of career security that you want to have. So you may be saying, well, I already have a job. Well, that's great. If you already have a job, you want to make sure that you're not allowing yourself to become too overly dependent on your employer for your personal identity or for managing your career. You need to control your own destiny. It's really even more important for you to establish a personal presence outside of your company because of that level of insecurity that I just talked about. And even better, if you do have a job right now, you can use the security of having that job and that financial income to, to pay you while you are developing and building out your own personal brand. Now you may be thinking, I'm afraid. I'm afraid of putting myself out there. It's a lot of work. What are people gonna think of me? What's my employer gonna think of me? Well, I tell you something. You're thinking a lot more about it than anybody else is. Your employer, for the most part, is probably not gonna notice. And your friends or your peers, they're not gonna really care. In fact, if you're doing it for yourself, it shows a level of strength and interest in yourself. And they're gonna wanna more likely emulate you than criticize you. One of the benefits is that even if your employer knows about your development of your personal brand presence outside of the uh, umbrella of that company or agency that you work for, developing that presence is going to be a show of strength. It's going to be showing that uh, you have a life outside of that corporate umbrella and they're going to be less apt to take you for granted or feel that they have you locked in. And as far as other people go, most people are going to be wondering if they should be doing it for themselves. And they're gonna be looking to you for guidance and inspiration in how you're doing it for yourself. And people will really be asking you more likely how you're doing it and be excited about it for you rather than be questioning it. So let's jump into the 10 ways that personal branding can help you not die. And when I say not die, I mean having that level of insurance in your career to make sure that you have a long, prosperous career and are successful without relying too much on outside influences. So number one, it will help you in your credibility with the job that you already have. So if you do already have a job, having a personal branded presence that shows your interest, you're being up to date on your category or career, your level of creativity will give you a level of credibility with the job that you already have. Number two, it will prepare you for the inevitable. Now, with agencies, they lose a client, there's layoffs. With companies, company takes a turn for the worse, there's a new competitor, there are layoffs. Job security isn't what it used to be. So having a personal branded presence that's strong and independent of an employer is really a preparation for the inevitable, which will eventually come down the road. Number three, it will make you more attractive to your next employer or to recruiters. So having a personal branded presence, LinkedIn, social profiles, maybe a YouTube channel, De developing content and, and writing articles and showing your level of expertise in your industry will make you more searchable in terms of recruiters and will make you more attractive to the next employer who's going to be looking for people who are tops in their industries when they're looking for new employees. Number four, developing a personal brand will give you self-worth and confidence. You can get a level of emotional fulfillment from having a full-time job but when you have a presence outside of a full-time job and a level of um, uh, commitment to that presence, it will give you a level of self-worth and confidence that will be independent of any kind of job that you have. And that's always valuable. Number five, it will make you feel less psychologically enslaved. So having a personal brand that's independent of a job 
will make you feel freer. So if something happens down the line, you're not going to feel like you are totally exposed and are um, taken by surprise and don't know which way to go. You'll be more apt to feel that you have more control over your life and that you can self-determine where you want to go. Number six, having a personal brand will help you decide and learn what assets you have and what you don't. And what I mean by that is what kind of visual brand assets you have, whether that's you know a logo, a color palette, selection of fonts, a website, social media presence, what your imagery, type of imagery is that you use for your personal brand, what kind of content you put out. When you start assessing developing a personal brand, you quickly realize what it is that you've got going for you and what you don't. And so that shows you what you need to develop. So number seven comes right on the heels of number six. By showing number in number six what you have and what you may need to develop, number seven also shows you what you may need to learn, what you know and what you may need to learn. You may need to develop additional skills or um, go to more conferences or make more networking connections. Finding out what it is that you have in your personal brand, what you need to develop, will also show you what you need to learn. Number eight, developing a personal brand is really, as I said before, that insurance policy. It's going to be assuring your survival and success in the marketplace and in your career, whether that is working for another company or agency or brand, or whether it's developing an independent freelance or consulting career. Number nine, developing a personal brand will also keep you sharp. What it does is it keeps you on your toes. It keeps you from resting on your laurels. By um, having to stay up to date and having to keep your branded presence up to date, it keeps you not complacent and it keeps you on point. So developing that personal brand is really helpful in making sure that you stay motivated and that you stay sharp. And finally, number 10, developing a personal brand will make you work that creativity muscle. And I've talked about this in previous videos about the creativity muscle and developing your level of creativity. But having to develop and maintain a personal brand, whether that's content, social media, website, branded assets, um, et cetera, doing that will make, make sure that you are forced to continue to work that creativity muscle, which again, keeps you on top of your game on top of your category and on top of your career. So you may be asking yourself, is it too late to start? And I can guarantee you it never is. I started developing my own personal brand just about three years ago. Before that, I pretty much had a LinkedIn uh, page and a personal portfolio site, but I've gone uh, much deeper into it in the last three years and it has reaped incredible benefits for my business. And so the question is, you know, you may be asking, why should I do it? As I said before, the real reason to do it is an insurance policy in your career longevity. And also, it will make you continue to build those creative muscles that will drive your career to the next level. So stay tuned for part two of this video, Brand Yourself or Die, part two, where I'm going to talk about the eight steps in the process of going about developing a personal brand. And so thanks again for watching this video. I hope you liked it. And if you did, hit subscribe below so you can see my videos when they come out. And visit me at my website, philipvandusen.com. I'd love to interact with you on your brand and hear about your successes and challenges in your career. And while you're there, subscribe to my newsletter. It's called Brand Muse, and it comes out every two weeks, and I talk about insights and methods and trends in graphic design and entrepreneurship. And with that, thanks again for watching. Bye for now.